What's up guys, I'm Bob. I'm Matt. And this is Beer of the Week. Yeah, baby. The show where we drink beer on camera for you guys. <laughs> for you, you guys. For you guys, how you doing buddy? Good, my brother, how are you? Good, doing really well. What awesome. are we drinking today? We're drinking Chromatose Blackberry Sour Ale from Two Tide Brewing. Awesome, so this is a uh, blackberry sour mm -hmm. with lactose mm -hmm. in it. So. I'm not a huge fan of sours, but we have found when there's lactose sugars in you, them, you tend to manage them. I manage them much better. So I'm excited about this. Comes in at 5.2% ABV. Mm -hmm. It's got a 3.95 untapped rating. Yes, sir. So very excited for this because as, as you know, anything above a 3.75 on untapped, not, a, not that easy to achieve. Not that easy so, to achieve. So uh, we like drinking good beer, good beer. So let's get into it. Let's do it. The color on that is gorgeous. Beautiful head there. The, the head on it's like pinkish. Um, you got that kind of, that purple pink blackberry color that's right there. Um, looks fantastic. Love the, love the can art on this. It's a, kind of a cool little like underwater coral reef scene. Really well done. Um, I, I can smell, I can smell the blackberries. Woo. Man, that is, that is a beautiful color. It looks like fruit juice. Nice reddish purple hue, really nice, a really nice head. Um, it does, it, it, it smells kind of like a, a fruit smoothie. Definitely tell it's, it, it's a sour on the nose though. You get kind of the fermentation and the, the smell you would get uh, from a kettle sour. The nose on it is sweet. Very sweet nose. So that kind of, I don't know, it smells like candy. So um, hopefully this is gonna be up my alley for sours, but um, very sweet nose. I would put that on the, the upper middle range of, of tartness or sourness. Um, there is a mild sweetness um, but I would not consider this a sweet beer. This is a sour beer. I, it's the first. It's the first beverage I've had in, of the day. But I did get that nice little like uh, jaw clench that you get when you when you drink a sour for the first time. Okay, so the sour is very it's very poignant up front. But part of the reason I love milk sugars and lactose in sours is it cuts it. So like after you drink it, that sour does not linger in your mouth. This does that exceptionally well because that sour hits you. So if you're a sour fan, you're getting your sour. Like it's, it's right there, it's up front. It's very, it's very much a real thing in this beer. But if you're like me, and you really don't like to pucker and you don't like that sour to linger, the lactose in this cuts it really quick. So I'm not sitting here still like, mm, mm. It's, not, it's not doing that to me. So um, this is good. Let me see if I can get it on some flavors. So the blackberry is absolutely there. Um, you taste that, but it's got a creaminess to it. So um, that's actually very enjoyable as someone who does not typically enjoy sour beers, this is this has got other things to it that I do appreciate, like like the lactose cutting that sour and like the creamy profile of this. It's very good. It's very good. What do you think of this one? I mean it reminds me of it reminds me of like a a fruit smoothie. I mean it's definitely more sour than a smoothie, but it, yeah. it has those characteristics. It's I, I think it's a really good sour. Yeah, I think it's really well done. Um, obviously not my preferred style. Right. But um, it, it offers a lot more than just being sour, which I think that is probably my biggest problem with sours, yep. is that they're just sour. Yeah, I, this know? one I think they did, they tried to make this to where it would appeal to purists that are just sour fans but I, I think that it does, it would lend itself to drinkers that may have had sour, similar to the pie series that you really, really like. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is as sweet 
yeah. as those it's are. Not, it's um, not. They they did a really nice job. Not. I liked I liked kind of the way you put it. It's it's that the the lactose sugar is there to kind of just cut cut it off at the end so that you're not just constantly like chewing on this this sour mm -hmm. beer in your mouth because i mean i you know i took you take a sip and you get i mean it's it, you get hit with a, a sour tartness but then literally within like yeah, it's gone uh, once you swallow it's yep. it's gone so yep. that's i mean i i appreciate the hell out of that because i feel like for someone like me that is not a sour drinker and there's probably plenty of people that watch the show that aren't this is the sort of beer that I think you can dip your toes into the sour mm -hmm. world. Oh yeah, because you're gonna ex you're gonna experience the sour, but it's not gonna linger, because that that's what makes them unappealing to me. Is it just lingers and I don't want to go back. Yeah, I don't want to go back for another sip. It, it's so crazy because I, I mean honestly, if this was in a glass and I did not know that I poured it out of a can that said 5.2% ABV, I wouldn't I wouldn't even know this was a, a beer. Yeah, 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 no, I mean, it, it doesn't taste alcohol. Yeah, 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 I mean, it's it's very tasty. It It's refreshing and tasty, it, it, and again, like I said. It's like if somebody made a sour blackberry fruit punch or something. Yeah, yeah. It, that's kind of like <laughs> what it tastes like. It could be a little a little scary not knowing that you're, not, not knowing yeah. that you're having a beer. Yeah, but it's good. Um, I'm a big fan of I'm a big fan of what Two Tides has done with this. Yeah, because it is hard to make a sour that I appreciate. So. And they're right here in our region, so it's super yep. cool. Another you know North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia beer. Yep. So good job, good awesome. job, Two Tides. We'll see y'all next week. Thank on you beer guys. Of the week.